media greatly influences society. They inform people about what is happening. It permeates people's lives by creating their own criteria and opinions. In this way, the media moves the masses, creating different social movements. For over 60 years, the people of Ambazonia were deprived of such privileges. The privilege to enhance their own criteria and opinion. They have suffered cultural genocide for six long decades, but not in this age and not with undaunted ABC Amber News on board. You must understand that wars are fought and won in the media. The speed of the revolution on Amazonia's quest for freedom cannot be explained without highlighting the diligent use of the media. Franco Cameroon colonizers, among other strategic moves, weaponized the media against Amazonia for so long and they continue to do so even today. The question would be, how much do the oppressed people of Amazonia need to counter the media rage? Indeed. How much more is required to stop the genocide? The carnage in Amazonia didn't start today. In 1961, 1972, 1984, 1992, Amazonians were slaughtered in huge numbers and help was not forthcoming. Why? Because the oppressor was the piper in the media. The good news is we have what it takes to dictate the pace. Right now, ABC Amber TV is taking advantage of the wonders of multimedia aggressively to inform the misinformed and disinformed with undaunted and other revolutionary programs bringing it to the news on told stories. Most importantly, to win the media war by taking ABC Amber TV into every multimedia platform. In a word, where the importance of storytelling can never be overemphasized, Amazonians has to tell her own story, not the other way round. And like we say it always, Amazonia must narrate her story accurately. accurately. We can do this together, you know, right? You would just a click away, visit our website at www.abcambertv.com and the steps are quite simple. With just a click on the website, you can become a club member with so many benefits. You can also make a one-time donation advertise and showcase your goods and services at the marketplace on the website that was easy right you're welcome on board and thank you for opting for the winning team we the people abc amber tv draft this saturday july 30th 2022 at 8 p.m. Amber Time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV draft this Saturday, July 30th, 2022 at 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa with untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, 
the voice of Amazonia, connecting the world from Africa with untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Amazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Amazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Amazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Amazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. The media greatly influences society. They inform people about what is happening. It permeates people's lives by creating their own criteria and opinions. In this way, the media moves the masses, creating different social movements. For over 60 years, the people of Ambazonia were deprived of such privileges. The privilege to enhance their own criteria and opinion. They have suffered cultural genocide for six long decades, but not in this age and not with undaunted ABC Amber News on board. You must understand that wars are fought and won in the media. The speed of the revolution on Amazonia's quest for freedom cannot be explained without highlighting the diligent use of the media. Franco Cameroon colonizers, among other strategic moves, weaponized the media against Amazonia for so long and they continue to do so even today. The question would be, how much do the oppressed people of Ambazonia need to counter the media rage? Indeed, how much more is required to stop the genocide? The carnage in Ambazonia didn't start today. In 1961, 1972, 1984, 1992, Ambazonians were slaughtered in huge numbers and help was not forthcoming. Why? Because the oppressor was the piper in the media. The good news is we have what it takes to dictate the pace. Right now, ABC Amber TV is taking advantage of the wonders of multimedia aggressively to inform the misinformed and disinformed with Undaunted and other revolutionary programs bringing it to the news on told stories. Most importantly, to win the media war by taking ABC Amber TV into every multimedia platform. In a word, where the importance of storytelling can never be overemphasized, Amazonians have to tell her own story, not the other way around. And like we say it always, Amazonia must narrate her story accurately. accurately. We can do this together, you know, right? You are just a click away. Visit our website at www.abcambertv.com and the steps are quite simple. With just a click on the website, you can become a club member with so many benefits. You can also make a one-time donation, advertise and showcase your goods and services at the marketplace on the website. That was easy, right? You're welcome on board. And thank you for opting for the winning team. We the people, ABC Amber TV draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia.
connecting the world from Africa with untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. 
with untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. Good evening and welcome to Undaunted Weekly Recap and Pre-Draft Run Show. I am Star Smart. We'll begin with the recap. This week we looked at the over five years war rocking the southern Cameroon's Amazonia that is killing the young, youth and the old, which couldn't have reached this point if the right thing was done from the start. A war that could have been avoided if colonial president Paul Beer adopted the right approach in resolving the genuine grievances of the southern Cameroonians. We also looked at Macron's failed foreign policy where research and intelligence reports had it that his foreign policy has failed Africa once again. And we couldn't seem to find the difference with his predecessors as French President Emmanuel Macron has committed himself to remaking the country's relationship with Africa. We moved into the aspects of Macron's visit to La Republic du Cameroon as a waste and non-event. As Cameroonese of good standing are now wondering aloud whether it was necessary for the farm master to visit his estate himself to talk transformation of agriculture when expectations were high that Macron was coming to talk concretely about the ongoing genocidal war rocking Amazonia and crippling the La Republic du Cameroon economy. Was it to talk transition of power from a father who no longer has anything to offer, having plundered the economy in a corrupt system, void of balances and checks to his son who himself has a questionable character? We wondered. Cameroonese are doubting the secret agenda, which might even have been hidden from La Republic du Cameroon's press as it was dominated by the foreign press. They still doubt why Macron, nicknamed Jupiter, took the pains himself to come only to sideline the burning crisis in the southern Cameroon's Amazonia and carefully avoided corruption and embezzlement that has become the trademarks of La Republic du Cameroon and have rendered the country a failed state. 
We went down memory lane and reached out when French President Francois Mitterrand said to be a Jamais un anglophone à etudi. Never an anglophone at etudi. That is no anglophone as president of La Republic du Cameroon. And this was in 1992 when John Furundi, an anglophone, won the presidential election and his victory was stolen by the French and handed to Bia. Not forgetting that Paul Bia himself had admitted publicly that he was Mitterrand's best student. And from memory lane to Cardinal, to me, in November 2017, who lashed out at France fueling the ongoing Anglophone crisis, Cardinal Christian Toumi accused France of seeking to make sure the majority French-speaking Cameroonians assimilate the minority English-speaking population. Toumi, 87 years old at the time, said that after the reunification of Cameroon, the idea was to wipe out from Cameroon the Anglo-Saxon culture. In our news of this week, we also reported that some cities in Yaoundé respected the lockdown. Home front heeded to the interim government's lockdown call to shame La Republic du Cameroon, France and enablers. This is a vote of confidence to President Sacco. Images of the 13 counties that make up Amazonia told a lot for day one through the third of the lockdown called by the interim government under its able president, Dr. Samuel Ikome Sacco. Not to forget the aspect of colonial military on Amazonian soil, who are gradually and surely executing this barbaric scheme of the Yawunde regime. And very crucial, we looked into Mesam County of the Midland region of Amazonia, where beginning July 2022, the colonial military under the instruction of the colonial governor Adolphe Lele Lafrique have been seizing commercial motorcycles. No reason have been advanced for the wanton arrogations of bikes. The bags seized at gunpoint are being transported on military trucks to the barracks and without discoveries this week, we found out these bags are given to their families and friends as gifts. And not to forget one story from our news bulletin this week of Bamenda Regional Hospital's negligence in Mesam County. This hospital denied medical attention to a 14-year-old victim of a road accident. These and more were talked about in Undaunted this week. And one more imperatively cardinal thing is to ensure that ABC Amba TV is a hallmark in every nation of every continent. The importance of winning the media war can never be overemphasized. Moving on with that, it is indeed a special Saturday for us here at ABC Amber TV. You all know that ABC Amber TV is taking the lead in debunking misinformations and disinformations in a world where the media is the spearhead of wars. And our draft is today. As always, a pleasure. Tonight we will be having our news director with us. And more interesting to note, we'll also be having other guests that you are all already familiar with. It indeed is a special pre-draft run today, and I'll be doing this with our amazing news anchor, Onyi Okpala. Good evening, Onyi. Yeah, good evening, Esther. And um, good evening, Amazonians. Hope you're ready to draft today. It's indeed going to be an amazing season with us tonight on Undaunted. But before we get into the nitty-gritties of tonight, we have the story for you. A certain Cho Ayabar, a self-imposed leader of Amazonia who is actually the fact is an agent of the enemy, La Republic du Cameroon, and an imposter is being castigated on audios and messages that have gone viral on social media all over home front since Friday, <coughs> July 29, 2022, for usurping powers to call for an uncalled lockdown. From these audios and messages, Amazonians expressed their disappointment with the said Cho Ayaba, an opportunist, an imposter, a sellout, and of course, a black leg, out to seek for notice. Out to auction 8 million Amazonians into perpetual slavery to La Republic du Cameroon. From these audios and messages, Amazonians are more than ever vexed with the said Cho Ayaba, whom they see as a blood thirsty contractor trading with over 40,000 innocent Amazonians 
their lives killed by the genocidal La Republic du Cameroon. Bonafide Amazonians have expressed their anger at this man because all along he has been engaged in dubious deals with his so-called ADF specialized in killings, kidnappings, ransom killings and takings and instead of fighting to liberate homeland, they killed the ARFs and extort the Amazonian population. Cho Ayaba for over the years with his ADF have proven beyond every reasonable doubt that they stand for a one and indivisible Cameroon. His team has been with the oppressor against the oppressed Amazonians and it is no longer a secret that Ayaba and his La Republic du Cameroon team led by Colonial Banque have been working hand in gloves against the liberation struggle. Unfortunately for them, they have met stiff resistance from a visionary focus, re resilient, I beg your pardon, and no-nonsense president of the Federal Republic of Amazonia, who is Dr. Samuel Ikomesako, who again is one of, in one of his audios, has warned his people on the home front to redouble vigilance and be ready to nip such manoeuvres in the board. The home front must know that until otherwise declared by the IG, only the Monday rest days, known as country Sundays, remain in vogue. Everyone on the home front should close their eyes and ears from such distractions from the likes of Cho Ayaba and the ARFs should remain on maximum alert to check infiltrators and react accordingly. Now, Mr. Abdul Abari of Niger, Special Representative of the Secretary General for Central Africa and Head of the United Nations Regional Office for Central Africa, UNOCA, uh, UNOCA, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres announced today the appointment of Abdu Abari. He announced on Thursday the appointment of Abdu Abari of Niger as his special representative for Central Africa and head of the United Nations Regional Office for Central Africa, UNOCA. This could be good news in the construct of geopolitics in CMAC, South African region, and Amazonians' freedom question. This could be good news in the construct of geopolitics indeed. Mr. Barry succeeds Francois Luceni Faux of Guinea. The Secretary General is grateful for Mr. Faux's dedication and excellent leadership of UNOCA over the past five and a half years. Mr. Abari brings extensive experience in the areas of politics and diplomacy. He is currently serving as permanent representative of Niger to the United Nations in New York. Previously, he served as the special representative of the chairperson of the Africa Union, AU, and head of the AU liaison office in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, that's 2016 to 2019. Earlier, he headed the uh, African Union's liaison office to the economic community for West Africa State ECOWAS in Abuja, Nigeria, 2014 to 2016. Prior to that, Mr. Barry served in various capacities in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Niger, including as Director General Bilateral Relations in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs from 2011 to 2014. He was ambassador to Beijing 2003 to 2011, accredited concurrently to Greece, Luxembourg and the Netherlands, as well as the United Nations offices in Geneva and Vienna, the European Union Commission and the African, Caribbean and Pacific Group of States. From 1999 to 2003, he served as diplomatic advisor to the President and Director General of State Protocol. Prior to that, he served as counselor at Niger's permanent mission to the United Nations in New York from 1992 to 1997. Mr. Barry holds a master's degree in international relations from the École Supérieure des Administrations et des Carries Juridiques de Lomé, Togo, as well as a diploma from the International Relations Institute of Cameroon. He speaks French and English. How can his appointment benefit peoples like Amazonia who are a minority in the CIMAC geopolitical setup? Now that's a big question. Amazonians feel absurd and ignored. Well, some schools of thought believe this could be great news for Amazonia. 
the UN Central African representatives officially nominated to replace Mr. Fall could bring some good for Ambazonians. As you well know, he is the current Niger ambassador to the United Nations and judging from his president's robust response on geopolitical and strategic issues of the days during Macron's visit, we know they are not involved in French politicking. We need people with independent and African-oriented minds to lead this continent. Well, that's my simple opinion. The Fulani is at it again. Calm returns to Wum local government area following two days of unrest between the Fulani and Hausa, backed by La Republic du Cameroon military and the natives. The local La Republic du Cameroon occupier security forces, soldiers, did their best to contain any further escalation between the Mahmoud crowd of Agams and the splinter group of supposed Muslim community. Concordant sources report that the people of Agam Wum in Menchum County, the youth in particular have in great number, stormed the Wum grandstand, holding weapons, sticks and machetes, ready for a showdown against any odd. This brewing situation erupted Tuesday, July 26 morning when the lifeless bodies of three Fulani headsmen were found in the bush in Zongofu, Wendu neighborhood in Wum local government area. Without any recourse to investigation, some members of the Muslim community switched into action against natives of Agams. Molesting, torturing and wounding a group, a good number of people who are now under intensive care at the Womb District Hospital, with latest updates saying one victim succumbed to his wound. It should be recalled that the background to this is heavily pregnant, as the community of Agams is out to put a stop to this routine of Muslims, most of the times backed by some deviant security officers, which will be La Republic du Cameroon military, inflicting desolation on the host community at the least or no provocations at all. After combined efforts by the uh, mayor of Wum Council, other administrators and the colonial BIR, the irate Agams who thronged at the grandstand have dispersed. Reports reaching us say this move has emboldened some Fulani Hausa assailants to resume their barbarism at courtyard, a neighborhood in Kesugu, Wum local government area. The regent of Kesugu contacted on phone lashed out at the apparent laxity of the local administration, wondering aloud why the perpetrators of this act are still moving around freely. Temporal claims has been reported as the element of the colonial La Republic du Cameroon Rapid Intervention Battalion, BIR, have dispersed the troublemakers by firing several warning shots. Meanwhile, trustworthy sources have revealed that the deaths of the three herdsmen which detonated this renewed crisis was caused by other Fulani whose cattle the former went to steal. As we remain glued to happenings back in Wum, it is important to say that the Agams, both at home and in the diaspora, are very preoccupied by this constant aggression from persons they have accepted into their community. This may just be one more straw that will break the camels and angry Agams on right. Skirmishes between the natives of Menchum County and the nomadic Fulanese masterminded by the colonial administration, backed by its colonial ministry, have been rampant and too frequent, resulting to uncountable death of innocent denizens, including their traditional rulers. They are a cause for concern as soon as we reach Boya. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 
8 p.m. Amba time. Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless. The voice of Ambazonia. Connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories. Africa's best. A necessary break right there. A glass of water for this very interesting story. Amazonian activist Nelson Uchiba reacts in his obvious enthusiasm. I'll read. The people's interim government is the only trusted and secured instrument that shall lead Amazonia to freedom, absolute and unconditional separation from La Republic du Cameroon. It doesn't engage in any backdoors or nocturnal talks with La Republic du Cameroon like other self-imposed egoistic leaders do. President Sacco and interim government have always insisted La Republic du Cameroon should meet Amazonia as a government for a negotiated settlement in Switzerland for Swiss talks that Ambazonia has to meet La Republic du Cameroon as a nation, a government, and on equal status. Nelson Uchiba said further, and I quote, in fact, uh, though not yet internationally recognized, the IG is well of federally structured into counties, LGAs, and separation of powers visibly different from La Republic du Cameroon, paper special status, or decentralization. It takes care of refugees, prisoners, ARFs, and of course, educates Amazonians on their history, rights, and cultural heritage. The IG is a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. He goes on to say, those fighting against the IG and its institution have just two character characteristics. Either they are selfish sell out or their roots might be traced to La Republic to Cameroon, probably descendants of the Bazar and Bamile case who fled from La Republic to Cameroon oppression in the 1950s and probably settled in southern Cameroons or remnants of the Igbos or the Bororos. Their forefathers might have been from the La Republic to Cameroon, Igbo, Bororos or Maguda. Some are children from mixed parental backgrounds, with one parent from southern Cameroon and the other from wherever. Meanwhile, others are currently married to Francophones or prefer their business or investment interest in La Republic du Cameroon. Over the blood of Amazonians, even when over 45,000 Amazonians have died, many more are refugees, properties are destroyed. And in conclusion, Nelson Uchiba said, Fellow Amazonians, we had a government before La Republic du Cameroon destroyed it. Anyone against the interim government or creating factions is not with us and means no good for Amazonia, no matter how they sink Amazonia. We once existed as a country with a government internationally recognized, boundaries of population, and that is what we have restored. Continue to draft, join your local government areas, and be counted as part of the never again generation. Hmm. Now, we'll have to take this break because we have an important person coming to join us next. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best.
All right, I told you earlier that we will be having our amazing news director, Ta Party King, with us here tonight. Mr. Ta, please, we'd like to have you now. Yeah, good evening, uh, good evening, Star. Thank you very much for, for that wonderful introduction there. I heard some of the stories you were talking about the unnecessary um, 30 days insensitive imposter trying to waste the time of our people. That's not important. That's trivialities. I think our people know what to do. The Defense Department knows exactly what to do. The interim government is making uh, it possible to ensure that it will not happen in our Amazonia. The colonial government will not oppress our people. And the wannabe in Norway also thinks that he can join in the crusade to oppress. We, we reject oppression in every of its form. But big things are happening. Bigger things are happening. And that's why they want to shut our mouth. Amazonians, you're going to join us as we inform our people every day that there is no 30 days now. That's why we they want us off the air. We've just seen a caption from their La Republic to Cameroon pay channel and some people at the home front lamenting that we are all over the place. They have not seen anything yet. We're going to infiltrate every media system, all media space in that sub-region. Every household will listen to ABC TV. So why they are strategizing to stop us, we're drafting. Why they are strategizing to limit us, we're building studios in different continents of the world. Yes, why not? We're building it in India, in Europe, in the Americas. We're going to make it happen. We will take the culture of Amazonia into every man's world. We will move on with the culture, the music, the rhythm, the, the message, the story. This untold story of Amazonia must be heard in every country and in every continent. Again, why not? We are able to, we have transformed broadcasting in the two Cameroons put together with, within just only six months. CRA TV, for instance, has existed for at least four decades. It, 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 uh, billions of dollars has been spent to make sure that it is what it is. But we've taken a few days to be where we are. Think about it. Think about where we will be in two years from today. Think about where we'll be in five years. You are part of this vision. That is why we are drafting. I hope uh, those who are joining in on the Zoom, watching, if they can, would like to get feedback, whether you're on YouTube or you are on Facebook or you're on Zoom, you can participate effectively. We're going to have some of the moderators the Zoom link join us in discussion as we move ahead. As soon as resource mobilization, the National Treasury deems it fit for us to, to give them the mic. We will hand over the mic to them right immediately. We need to have Nijo. I hope the technicians are getting ready to have him. He's also going to talk to us on some issues that are very important this evening. We have some hosts of programs here, like the most consistent, I would say the longest program in ABC Amber TV host. She's always fervent. She's always standing, proactive, always there. She is here. I'm talking to you about... Ma Rakaye Tima, the anchor lady for the horizon. We also have a wonderful, beautiful Lady Casey, press secretary and direct assistant to Madam Endele. She is here to talk to us. This is so I'm um, there, there. Please, you bring us on the screen so we can start the discussion immediately. I would expect them to talk to us about their programs. Uh, they have a few minutes to do that, to talk to us, the vision and what Amazonians are expecting for them or from them in the days ahead. How do we intend to ameliorate not just your program and the entire TV? The vision for the TV will be properly, uh, I would say, squarely communicated to you when the stakeholders will be all seated, when the president will join the Zoom. We'll have opportunity to tell you our vision where we're going to, where we are coming from, where we are today. We are in ABC Amber TV. Like we say every day, every day and every night, the importance for us to tell our story by ourselves can never be overemphasized. We're living in a world 
where storytelling is so important. When people want to fight wars, they tell stories. When nations want to change economic strategy, they talk about their stories. What is life all about? It's all about a people and what they are, and that is storytelling. And that is it. When you understand this basic precept, then you understand the game, the game and the business of making the news, which is what we want to do and we want to do at a top form. In fact, we're already doing it. And we couldn't have come this far without you. And today we are coming to, first of all, not just to ask you to do a little bit more, but to appreciate you for watching. You've got to be a part of this. It's an interview program. I know you love the, the ladies. They are so beautifully dressed. They did all for you. We have made it difficult for you. It's all about you. It's all about the peoples of Amazonia who have been limited. They have been restricted of what is truly theirs for six decades. These are people that have the talent. These are that have a story that doesn't exist anywhere in the world. But they denied the opportunity to tell their own story. Never again. If you see, I'm about to telling you never again. This draft for tonight is a never again. We will tell our own stories ourselves. Yes, good evening, Marshall Tima. Yes, if you can hear me, I'd like you to give them the opportunity so we can commence this discussion. Can they hear me? Volume is down. Marasha, your volume is switched off. Do you want to put it on? Lady Casey, are you there now? Can you hear me? Can you fix your volume? I'm talking to, so I know they're perfect. Good. We can now get your sound. That's amazing. Now, let me seize the opportunity to talk to other hosts of programs on ABC Amber TV. I think it's necessary for you to come and present to the peoples of Amazonia the objective of your program and the, the projections that you may have. Um, just let us know, and within a few seconds, we will have you connected and commence this discussion. Please, over to you, the host of The Horizon, Voice of the Amber Woman. Ladies, yes, thank you, thank you, Director Paddy. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, ABC Technical Crew. Wonderful people with whom we'll be working behind the scene. If you see us here today, it's because we know that you are out there waiting to, to do that which you know how to do best. This is the only voice that we have in Ambazonia. This is the source of the truth. The ear sharp ears are spitted out there, just waiting to hear from ABC TV. I am my Rachel. Greet you all, Ground Z Home Front, Ground One, Middle East, Southeast Asia, South Americas. North America, Europe, the Arctics, we greet you all. Today is a wonderful day for the voices and ears of Amazonia, the ABC TV. I think and I believe I'm still going to have the opportunity to come up after the other colleagues might have greeted you to just give a short and a brief background of what the horizon has for the people of Zonia now and for the rest of the days. Thank you, ABC, for having me as usual. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Um, 
I, I'm not supposed to be talking on Zoom, um, technicians. You are streaming me on Zoom like you're streaming the other programs. So there's no, I'm talking, I'm connected in the Zoom so I can coordinate some things. I shouldn't be talking on Zoom. I hope if, if Lady Casey is there, I'd like you to locate. Lady Casey, are you there? Are you connected? You're supposed to give audio to the Zoom from the machine, not me talking. I'm not talking via Zoom. Is Lady Casey connected? I like the, the anchor ladies to indicate that to me. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Paddy, Mara, Shell. Can any of you hear me? Yes, I'm, um, can you put on my mic so I can get with her? Or put on the side? So that I can communicate with her. Yes, Lady Stacy, I can hear you. Just talk to us, please. I understand that you're planning to start a program on ABC. You've been able to back up the, the Ministry of State for Communications and ID. Um, you, as press sec, you, you initially, in, in, I think that is 2019 into 2020. You were director of ABC Amber TV, so you you have been, and you are the first female producer that we had that you could produce a program by yourself, the director, and you could produce a program. That's amazing. Perhaps you want to talk to us about the, about that a little bit and uh, your program that is definitely going to be coming up in a few minutes. So that will be coming up days ahead. The floor is all yours, please. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you guys can hear me. Um, that's great. Greetings, fellow Amazonian. Today is ABC Draft. You know, um, Paddy mentioned that I was once the director of ABC, as you may know. But besides that, I was there from the creation of ABC Amber TV. You know, we have been through the voice of I'm true. So many challenges, personal interests, self-aggrandizement, people laying claims on state property. But ABC is finally for the people. It's finally Ambazonians for Ambazonians. So going forward, and what we are plan what we are doing today is for all Ambazonian. It's the voice of the people, is the platform that informs, directs, and inspires Ambazonia to remain steadfast in our and in our freedom quest. And I'll take this opportunity, which I have been trying to see, to thank Sarah Smart and Oni Opala for their extraordinary job that they have been doing on in Undaunted. It's so entertaining, it's so interesting to watch, it's so engaging, the addictions is so amazing, and I truly appreciate everything they are doing. And this is more reason why every Ambazonian who believes in our freedom should be drafting for ABC Amber TV giving everything that you have we are a nation we are a people we have our territory and we should have our voice and abc is the loudspeaker abc have an, an amazing website well informed with articles written by amazonians published on that website there's so many reasons i can go on and on on why drafting today cannot be stressed or overemphasized uh, as press actually going forward you'll be having me here every week 
you need to come with your questions. There's, there is so much distraction in, in this struggle. There's so much distraction. There's so many people. There are so many imposters, like Paddy earlier mentioned, claiming to punish our people for one month. But the good thing is Ambazonia knows their leader. They know their president. They know their government. And just for emphasis, there is no one month lockdown. Only countryside. So come every um from next week. Come with your questions. Date and time is going to be announced. And also we'll be having discussions on various aspects and various incidents or happenings in our freedom quest. So much is going on. The Undaunted is doing a lot to, to, dis, to create this conversation, to bring information and to bring news analysis on these things. But we need to talk about some of these subjects more for our edification in, our, in, in this fighting. And to also enlighten ourselves that the French strategy is force brutality barbarism but we will show them that as the owners of that territory as us that hail from amazonia and this never in generation is here to claim and restore what they've stolen from us lie all the lies to to debunk all the lies they've told us for 60 years so fellow amazonians tonight renew our spirit our strength and our eyes and vision to believe and know that we are on track towards our restoration and there is nothing and there's no happening and there should be there should be no individual or anybody or anything that should distract discourage you and there's no there should be no word no insults no statement any woman or any body born of a woman that should detract you from fighting the restoration of amazonia because there is no greater purpose to live at this time as an amazonian and anybody who hear from a southern cameroon doing anything otherwise than fighting for our restoration is living in a lesser realm Quote me anyway. And as we draft for ABC today, I will continue this draft season. And it is already in our culture and in our system, knowing that we will draft every year. So it is not a surprise. So we know Amazonians are prepared. Like Padi always said, the stakeholders know what to do and they have been doing an extraordinary job. Thank goodness the noisemakers have helped us. And things are working out for the great for Amazonia. So let's keep the spirit high. Let's keep hope alive high, no matter what. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I, I would like us to to be um, in a sync with the uncle ladies. It's a, it's a collective discussion we're gonna do. So work on that. You have enough time to do that. Uh, Marashe, if you're still there, we will now come to your program that has been the most consistent in spite of all the challenges that you are facing you have your program and i want to make sure i want you to ensure that there is there is sound on zoom give sound for those who are watching this program on zoom make sure that they're having sound um your your program uh Marasha, Tima has been the most stand. Before you tell us what is your inspiration, why, in spite of the turbulence, you are consistent with this program, talk to us what's the vision? What program? Is it just to give a voice? Is it just a slogan, the voice of the Amazonian woman? What do you hope to achieve 
with this show the horizon it's entirely your conception please talk to us yes thank you very much um Paddy, to have me again um actually um you know when a woman is pregnant in as much as she goes buying baby things going for antenatal and all those going for gymnastics and everything her mind is focused the day that the gov the hospital has given her that this might be the day your baby will come to your baby will be born so this is with this image in mind let me just correct it um the horizon the mothers in the house sat in a meeting after coming back from berlin 2019 and we thought of how do we make the women how will women's voice be heard out there in the midst of these lies and challenges many of us getting to just really on our history because thank god for for this our for this our struggle many people up to now did not even know the name of the next village that was close to them many did not even know the origin people up to today still do not even want to believe the story that has been told them that this is where you are coming from with some specific dates um 1959 1957 1954 nigeria in enugu and everything and up to now 1961 and many people still do not really get it but since we decide to be consistent i believe many of us have learned and we are getting there the horizon was also born during a women's meeting remember we were with my patients and um she just said oh yeah i think the horizon will be uh, we were suggesting names so we just said oh that is the perfect one that we should go ahead and the horizon the near future that is the meaning of the horizon the near future that is a very prophetic name that showed us that amazonia is in the near future it's not really far away more reasons why we have we had to stay consistent because the near future is now telling the story now near future that just the appellation gave us gave me the inspiration to continue because each day i thought that i keep thinking and keep believing that we are already in amazonia telling the stories getting more people on board despite all the challenges we say we wouldn't relent and we are there still doing it yes it has been a hard way coming from the beginning of jesus coming from the beginning it was a sham you know nobody believed me for example when i kept saying that i am not seeing the programs of the horizon anywhere not on youtube not on facebook nowhere and i was chastised and like you're just fantasizing i remember two times i had to force my patients let's meet chris and i'll call him there let's meet chris and ask him what is going on because i realized that each time the horizon program will finish on Friday, immediately he will be chasing us out even before we finish. Leave the studio, leave the studio. I am to come, I am to come. I was like, I like my spirit because it doesn't lie. He told me that something is in the cooking. I said, but why will a program like this, women, we can't have war on our national team to talk to fellow women, to add our voice, so that the people could listen to us because when the mother speaks i believe the child listens the husband listens the brother listens all 
almost everybody listens when the woman is saying something i was like why are you pushing us out like this i called him i pushed my way to a meeting we requested a meeting and he chastised me and said you are just fantasizing i said well what my spirit tells me i'm not fantasizing you are up to something and i am yet to know the reasons why i can't find the programs i sit up each friday to make for the horizon sitting in front of the camera you have to set all your senses thinking at the same time what you are going to say what you are going to do reading sometimes is just by the grace of god to put all these things together and you disappear our program this we didn't know that he was already working on something that he was we all saw it when the time came and i want to thank god for the that he gave me because when i was complaining some people didn't believe me they just thought maybe i was just making stories for myself and we went searching searching we did not see any of the horizon programs which mean means he spent his time deleting all programs talking on our programs but the outcome we all know the rest of the story today if there is a green snake in the green grass it takes really an ego eye or a heart a spirit of discernment you to really know that there is a snake hidden inside that green grass and horizon suffered it suffered in a way that we might not be able to understand because people will say but we saw you coming up every time how how were you suffering yes we were suffering in the fact that some days we will have to wait and sit here for more than two hours and he will come up to tell us that oh um i thought you people canceled the program i said you just thought that we canceled the program we didn't call to cancel we did not negotiate that we were canceling we called you times without number and you you just did, did it thank god we got consistent at a time when dr Nguambe came in and he was producing us at at that time but see, yet when the things were being getting mixed up with the same our uh, dr Nguambe, I was, we were asking him, what is going on? Why are you delaying our production? But sometimes we would just clean our anger, wipe our sweat, and sit here just to talk to our, our people. Our motivation were the people calling us on ground. Are you people not coming on? Last week, what happened? Why were you not there? We could go out there telling our people that this is what, this is that. But um, we just sail through and God has been able to, to, to expose the devices of the enemy. And um, I continue to tell the people of Ambazonia that when you see, um, don't doubt. I used to say consistency is the rule of the game. When you see, you listen to somebody tell you a story today and they change their narration tomorrow, just be very careful with such people because they might land you somewhere somebody that tells you something today and is not is telling you something tomorrow or is always against something that is to be done look at that person critically yes our challenges are behind us we thank god for our able technical crew that is here we thank god for the um for the abc board board of directors that has been put in place men and women of valor and integrity who understand need how you can manage an institution how you can manage an organization and these are the managerial skills that ambazonians are already practicing that when we get home that corrupt, deceitful nature is not seen. That's why you see our ABC has been funding. Programs have improved the skills, the technicality, the quality. You know, everything is up to standard. But you know, man's 
um, desire is to have the best. That is why we are today for the ABC draft, such that all the wonderful posts you've been watching, you will have it in another uh, um, grade. You know there's grade one, there's good, there's grade three. So as the grades are, are going higher, you too, you have to improve and make yourself, you know, to belong to that level where if anybody opens your you, turn, turn in, they'll say these people already know what they are doing. These people have class, these people have standard. And Horizon being one of the programs, you just heard it is one of the consistent, is one of the longest that has existed since uh, more than 24 months now, I can say. We have been here going through this journey with we are in the course, we are staying the course. The voice of the Amazonian woman. We just is the voice of the Amazonian women because women are saying it. Brothers are coming to add their voices to their sisters, to their wives, and to their daughters, and to their, uh, 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 um, their friends. So we will not give up. We will not stay quiet. We will keep talking. We will keep reading the story so long as Amazonia is on the way, as the horizon means in the near future. Our final quest is in the near future. We will keep walking the path. We will keep walking the path together, narrating every story as it is, bringing you the truth to our people on uh, home front. Yesterday, as of yesterday, the horizon, I got more than 50 calls from churches, men of God, from individuals, their text messages. They were saying, thank you for clarifying. You know, those write-ups from those brothers and sisters clarified many things to them. Because some of them say they get mixed, mixed up because they don't know. Our basket mark keep going out there. Sorry, my language. But sometimes it's necessary. Keeps going out there deceiving our people that we are calling himself an imposter. Calling himself. Misinforming the people. I am here to say the horizon, the voice of the Amazonian woman on ABC TV is to annul every misinformation, disinformation, what thing that uh, fraud are out there to deceive our people. We will keep telling the story, the right story, educating and sensitizing our people until this near future is fulfilled. We are appealing to you today. Please, if you are a friend to the horizon, if you're listening, and enjoying what the horizon dishes out. Please, this is the hour has come. The hour has come. <laughs> Let your friendship be known. The hour has come. Draft for ABC TV. Draft for national TV. Now we'll, now we'll continue. Now for a year we'll be talk. We'll continue to talk. Now for a year we'll be tell with mommy and with papa then wait till where they happen. Because all that lie, lie people, the way that they lie, one mommy them, the way they go lie for SCBC, they go lie them for Equinox, they go lie. We want to buy that BBBBB satellite. If it was spread where it go reach mommy and papa them, for any side way, they go there, they go hear the two way we go tell them, so that no man no go go fool them. Because if we remain limited edition, see people them, the way that active mob them, they tell what mommy them like lie story them because they don't go take money away and France and La Republic don't give them. They don't get stronger weapon. They will go make the TV go the strong, they go the lie lie papa them for side they, they because papa then they don't know. But if we for a year one made the true 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 the talk, the reach for our papa then for the innermost part, we get to bring that money today so that by the time we go subscribe. 
for the subscriber then where they add with the link where we the connect for you we're not go buy at a lower grade we go buy at the high grade so, so that if you see we directly for any side where you do for the well you know must do for facebook before you see abc tv you know must do for youtube before you any place where you just did the way where the technician they go make them just connect for any side where you do you just press your one button cling i'll be talking yesterday you just press and so cling it go join the highway it go enter satellite they are team them they are i don't forget all this yes just as you the ccnn the cbbc the c sky news the cntv nigerian tv ghana tv you just now you will see abc tv Amazonian TV, you their name to go there for that strong satellite base. I beg today, not the day. If you not be noticing that the thing that way they want to do with the money, I don't already talk. Um, I beg now part of the thing that way they want to do with the money. We want them to make one name to the come up for series of TV station the way they did for the whole world so that not be only for go for Facebook where you go see we you go see we direct. Yes, and Horizon will be one of them. We at the back when I say more, I put money for Horizon basket. Friends of Horizon today, oh, I'm one way the committee. Miss Ma Rachel, thank you for the program today. Thank you for the program. You did well. That was encouraging today. Charge your pocket, charge your pocket, charge your pocket, oh, charge your pocket, charge your pocket. Thank you. Una charge your pocket, charge your pocket. Yes. Now today, charge your pocket. I did well. Really, you hear me, Marashel? You hear you me fine? You charge yourself. You have to recharge. Yes. Yes. So, okay, man. We are going to the, the Secretary of State for Resource Mobilization, for Finance and Resource Mobilization in a few minutes. We cannot have... Um, the director of ABC Amba TV, Madam Endele, right immediately. But uh, uh, in the course of of the of the, the draft today, she will also be communicating some things to us as per her vision on the TV. How the TV has revealed a few prior to this time knew what was happening. So, and I want us to also talk with the, the chairman of the board, uh, uh, Chairman Amos. He, um, um, to mentor, I think, uh, please, Chairman, if you, I know you're already on Zoom coordinating and you have a lot of things, join us, uh, Nijo, in our sense right now, and we'll be having Nijo, as soon as Nijo is ready to speak, please, you indicate so that I can give the floor. I would also like the chairperson for the Amazonia Foundation, uh, that's Madame Victorine Young to also indicate so that she can speak. I would like the Secretary for the National Treasury to also indicate when she is locked in and willing to speak. Again, I'm repeating all hosts of programs that are logging in on Zoom. You have to indicate and come and talk about your program. You have a few minutes to do that because as soon as the President joins the Zoom link, we will get into the draft program and you may not have the opportunity to speak and if you do not speak about your program the vision of your program the future of your program then the fourth will all be you understand that quite a tremendous job we understand that um you are you are amazing we we understand nijo are you there already you're indicating to me uh nijo is asking me to unmute I cannot unmute on Zoom because I am streaming on um okay if you want me to unmute on Zoom for people on Zoom the technicians are supposed to give my sound as they are streaming are you listening to others speak they are supposed to ensure that they they give my sound you're not supposed to be getting my sound as I lock into the Zoom they are supposed to stream me from the system so people in the zoom are still wanting me to unmute i don't know why that it should not be so make sure you fix the sound okay i was saying before nijo indicated that i should unmute i was saying that uh, uh, we would like 
the chairperson, Madam Victorine Yakni, uh, uh, to indicate when she would like to speak to uh, the people of Amazonia and um, and give us some updates as what is happening. We also, when the Secretary of State for the National Treasury, she spoke to us on Thursday when she's connected, she should indicate so that she can be interviewed. I understand that the Secretary of State for Finance and Resource Mobilization is already connected in our systems. And I would like, like the anchor ladies to hear that, okay, yes, Yes, they, they are, I'm told Nijo is here. That's amazing. Before I give the mic to Nijo, you just heard um, the Under Secretary, of the Deputy Secretary of State for Women's Services, uh, Madam Sima, talking to us on the vision of her program, the challenges she has gone, she has been through for for all of this. Why? She, those are some of the petty things that you heard. People at the hem of the struggle doing. I call them petty, nasty, dirty things. Short-sighted people always have the, the mindset of entitlement. Short-sighted people are you that are indispensable. Short-sighted people want to own, they want it to be me, myself, my thing, and all of that. That is the risk of short-sightedness that is the the evil side of short of short-sightedness but when you have visionaries i want to say tell you this i'm going to give me on this when the the draft begins visionaries like the president the brain behind a b samba tv contrary to what they would want you to believe it is his vision when we were having the challenges with scbc and then he thought that no, Amazonia has got the right. Amazonia has got the right to own a platform. The beautiful thing about ABC Amber TV is that ABC Amber TV is owned at least by 100%, 100% by the peoples of Amazonia. 100% the minimum. I will talk to you about the programs I have been hosting on ABC Amber TV from late last year into this year and some of the impact that we, I'm talking the audience, the panelists, myself hosting the programs, some of the impacts that we were able to make during this critical time of war. But first, let's have the Secretary of State for Finance and Resource Mobilization as she stimulates the air with his amazing accent. Um, Nijo, over to you, the mouse. Comrade oh Padi, thank you, thank you very much. I, I think you're forgetting that um, I'm an, an Amazonian, and um, if I'm speaking with an accent, it means that. Nijo, there's something. Nijo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Claire. Kindly mute your Zoom. Right, mute my Get Zoom. Get out of audio from Zoom. Right? Okay. Get out of audio from Zoom and just be in our system. We will still give the sound to those watching on Zoom. One moment. I can find that. Zoom. Yeah, that one is muted. Yeah, that one is muted. So now I've just unmuted no, the Zoom. Get out of Zoom. Oh, you want me to get You want me to get out of Zoom? I'm the you don't want me to end it. No, the Zoom audio. Get out of the audio completely. Right. It's, it's muted. It's muted. Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? No, 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 no. Right. There is, there is sign out of Okay, sign out of Zoom for now. How about the host and just sign up of Zoom? Okay. Indicate, okay, me, to you me hand over host. Let me hand over host to Dr. Tita, and then and I can dismiss myself from um, from the Zoom. Make host, Dr. Tita, please confirm that you got this before I mess up. I mess up all of Amazonian stuff. Dr. Tita, are you there? Dr. Tita is alert here. 
Uh, you, your host now of the Zoom platform, please confirm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Buddy, all yours. Oh, beautiful. Now, let me just check if Buddy can hear me. Can you hear me? Hello, ABC family, can you hear me? Right. So, what buttons have I not hit the right way? Um, just checking if, if I'm okay here. Everything looks good. But um, I seem to be real, real done. Can anybody hear me? Nijo, can you hear me? Yes, now <laughs> I thought I was lost. Yes, I can hear you, Comrade Padi. Can you hear me? technicians don't forget again to put to leave my audio on don't forget it thank you i need you i'm I, I can hear you that. good i was trying to communicate my audio should not be switched off again so i right i was saying that you are amazing with your with your british aunt a daughter of the queen in I perhaps is <laughs> Because you're right. uh, a good speaker, you are the secretary of finance and resource mobilization. You, you are a media personality. You, you have done so much. You understand the power of communication, and, and this is a very special day for ABT Amber TV. And you are here to speak in the capacity of the one to enable the resources. Talk to us, please. Thank you. Thank you, Comrade Padi. Please confirm that you can hear me. I can hear you loud and clear, very loud and clear. Excellent. Excellent. And um, let me uh, start by greeting your team in the studio, your technicians. I mean, you're doing a fabulous job mixing up platforms, um, you know, the ABC mix and the Zoom platform and WhatsApp and everything. So you're multitasking champions. Uh, congratulations. Um, and then I'm to our ARF on home front. And of course, give them today is uh, 22 gone salute to them. And um, we're here. The last time I came to your studio on the 4th of June this year, when we had the national launch for this draft uh, season. I I did um, uh, ask your uncle ladies, um, Lady Star Anoye, if they could sing a song with me. That song in the terms of, um, that chorus in the terms of, um, uh, the, 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 what do you call it now, um, uh, internet. It's gone viral in the Ambazonian family, and I would like us to just remind Ambazonians that today is the day to draft, to draft ABC. Today is the day, amen, and to draft ABC, amen, draft, amen, amen, rejoice, amen, amen. Yes, and um, to go back to your question, um, it's a privilege for me to be in this opportunity and serve my country. But I want to just enlighten Ambazonians, two or three minutes, all of us, particularly those of us have had the opportunity to be students in secondary school, high school, maybe university. Some of us have, some haven't. But most Ambazonians, I suppose, know that when you have subject school, those subjects are not the same. 
some are more significant than others. So I give a few examples. In my secondary school, we had three top subjects, maths, English, and French. Those top subjects had what they call coefficients, numbers attributed to them, compare them with the other subjects. So maths was coefficient three, English coefficient three, and French coefficient three. And then you had all the other subjects, geography, history, write down to religions, knowledge, RE, they call it PE, manual level, civics, all of that. And those other subjects I've just listed had a coefficient of one. So civics was coefficient one, PE, coefficient one, RE, coefficient one, manual level, coefficient one. Now, that means is if you were first in PE and first in civics and first in manual level with 13 over 20, 15 over 20 or 17 over 20, those marks don't change. The total score remains 15 and 17 and 12. If, you, if I came last in those subjects, I don't mind. But if I was first in maths and I had 15 and maths is coefficient three, that maths, my score, that 15 will be multiplied by three. So then my 15 gives me 45. Three times 15 is five. Again, I was lucky and I was first in English. And I, again, I had 15 over 20, that my 15 multiplied by three, again, that's 45. So for my maths and English, I already have 90, 45 plus 45. And if I manage in the other one, French, which was always a very strong for me, and I had only 10, 10 over 20, that 10 is multiplied by three and it's 30. You add my 30 to my 90 I already, just for the objects have 120. I'm already beating you who had those first in civics. Why I'm saying this? I want Ambazonians to know that for all the institutions that our president and our IG have put together, and these institutions include the LGAs, the counties, our ARFs, the National Treasury, the in, uh, Independent House of Representatives, the HSS, the Women's Affairs, Foreign Affairs, Team Act, name them, name all these institutions. And in fact, silly me, I forgot ABC. ABC is one of those arms of institutions. So if you go back to my questions in subjects in schools and you list all these institutions that I created and we are attributing coefficients to them to indicate how significant these institutions are, if our highest coefficient is five. There are two institutions in this IG that will take those coefficients. It's our RFs and ABC. Why am I saying this? If maths, English, and French were so important and even high coefficients to indicate how important they are, we are giving very high coefficients to our ARF and ABC to indicate the power of their cells. This implies that if Amazonians, if last week you supported Manu with $10, it means that we are expecting you 
as today is ABC draft and ABC has a coefficient of five, we're going to expect you to dip your hand further down the pocket and give us more than $10. And if you really want to follow this rule of coefficients, multiply that your minimum amount that you gave to Manu, or Mezam that we drafted the other week. Multiply that by this coefficient that we've given ABC, five. If you gave Mezam, if your L gave Mezam $100, Explain the significance of A, B, C to your LGA and plead to them that we need that $100 that was given to Mezam to multiply five because the coefficient attributed to A, B, C, the, the importance, the power of significance of A, B, C is fivefold. Comrade Padi has just explained that he's going to come back and list the things that they have done as an institution under this IG to propagate this war, to move us from where we were to where we are now. They're nameless, they're countless things you know and I know. Well, all we're doing today is we are coming to support ABC, to make sure that ABC maintains this top position that we have elevated ABC because of the significant role it's playing. For it to stay there, we have to support it. There is a saying that to, more, to him who more is given, more is expected. So if we looking the other way and saying from him whom more is expected to them, we shall give more. We're expecting ABC to do us so much. We also owe ABC so much. Comrade Padi, are you there? Yes, thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Nijo. I am here. Can you hear me? Yeah, um, okay, if you can hear me, I do understand that uh, watching us on the Zoom are uh, facing some challenges to get the sound. I don't know why that should still be happening, but we are working on it and we hope that before we receive the president, we will be having the sound. Thank you very much, Nijo. You're still going to take one more question for me before you go and start doing your business. I want to believe that I still have Lady Casey and Mara Rachel waiting at the back. I'm also requesting and soliciting that all that TV hosts that are on the Zoom call indicate so that they can talk to the peoples of Amazonia that join their program. The objectives or the objective of their of their shows and uh, projections that they do have. What should Amazonians? Expect from them in the days ahead. It is quite important and instrumental. Why I'm waiting to to have that indication from those hosts that have not connected yet. I want to read out. Um, we have already some donors of ABC are already donating. It is in my office. To some are already sending it to me. Uh, Perhaps I should just say this. This is one of my mothers in the UK, Mami Dorothy. She has just, uh, she's drafting 250 US dollars uh, for ABC Amber TV. She has paid in. She's also putting in some in the president's basket. That's amazing. We have a lot of Amazonians counties. My county, Manu, has already drafted. And they're drafting big. Mohamo is drafting the entire Momo. I received an extraordinary message from the, the coordinator of Momo and chairman for Mohamo earlier on today. That's amazing. I'm talking to all the patroness and patronesses, early club members. This is a day that you want to do it big. We want to know. We would, I would like to know the first, the first 10, the first. 10 individuals that will be drafting the first 2,000 for ABC today. The first 10 that will be drafting um, 
1,000. I've caught a couple of you earlier on today. I caught a couple of you. Pastor Commando is ready. I'd like you, the technician, to get his login details so that he can come and talk about his program. Pastor Commando alone is uh, hosting three major programs on ABC Amber TV. Congratulations, sir, for your amazing selflessness and your selflessness for your people this day. Um, the patroness, the patronesses, and you're going to do big today. I am waiting for the first 10 um, stakeholders of ABC Amber TV that will be drafting the first 1,000 for ABC Amber TV today. We already have some doing so. Counties are already drafting. Departments are drafting. Board members are drafting. Um, okay, I can see the, the, the Secretary of State for the National Treasury um, already calling me. I want her to type. I will not be called now. It's not possible. Perhaps she may just want to type so that I can know uh, exactly what she in Intend to communicate. We 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 would like her to be with us on air so that she can talk to us. Um, please, I, I may not pick the call now because I'm trying to communicate to many people, persons at the same time. Yes, as you connect, Pastor Commando, uh, uh, let us factor out what is happening on the, at the level of the Zoom. Yes, between last year, this year, late last year into this year i have uh personally handled two programs on abc amber tv i have done moment of truth i have done exclusive discussion moment of truth was a timely intervention during perilous times it was a time we i came with your help with all the fans of moment of truth to intercept disinformation and misinformation a master calculation to crumble our struggle and to give it to la republic to cameroon it was a timely session when i announced the program in the communications department you had mike fu mike fusi i mean you had uh uh dr Ngambe, you had uh all the coopers that were in the communications department rejected the program did not want the program and what was moment of truth? Moment of truth was because some activists and Mr. Anu's cohorts, Mr. Kaanu was indirectly um, uh, providing them with fraudulent falsehood disinformation and the entire social media was noisy. It was totally noisy. And by the the uh, government affairs department or is it unit of the defunct deleted respiration council were dragging their legs playing politics in a hope to achieve their pre-planned pre i thought it was a media responsibility people at the time wanted to define to us to me what they thought is necessary for media consumption and these are those people that are ignorant as to what was media consumption. I thought, to be fair, I was going to get everyone involved. Those who were complainants, those who were the accused or defendants. I communica communicated with Mr. Anu a few days after he created his television and I told him, oh, congratulations, you're doing well for yourself. And um, it's high time for us to get a square. I've heard what you said on your TV, and I'd like to get an interview with you. I want you to be the first person that I'll be hosting with Moment of Truth. Let's have a frank discussion. If you're sure about what you're saying, you and I know. I told him on four. You and I know you're lying. But then there are some things you have said I don't have sufficient information to debunk you. The easiest thing for me to do right now would be to have you on air. And I want you to challenge me, come with your evidence. After that, I'm going to get Madam Iringwa on air. After that, I'm going to get the president on air. I'm also willing to get other government officials. Mr. Anu said, okay, um, 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 I'm just quoting him now. Um, you know, um, 
the restoration cancer um he said we should not talk publicly and i cut him i said but you're already talking publicly. i proactively because i know he's good in line i prepared a letter and i sent to him a letter for the program i sent a letter to madame iringua i sent a letter to the office of the president and all those members of the defunct deleted restoration council and i said we must have this discussion the restoration council accepted and denied mrs iringua accepted and denied the president accepted and denied and that was when i knew that this man was being encouraged and enhanced by some evil i thought to myself okay then it is high time i go out aggressively you all know what moment of truth every time i came out with moment of truth they were panting and they employed activists to tarnish my image they were attacking me on the social media i really didn't give a damn because some of them did not even have a pinch they do not have an idea that they are empty talk on social media and not do me anything i speak truth i speak with fact and i speak legality some of them stopped when i challenged them and i told them even before the national Trust took some of them to court and i told them you're not going to use your side chicks to attack me if you've got any against me let's take it to the court i'm ready to confront you there i will beat you on the media and i'll beat you on the courts and so some of them went in what we call sosongo some of them stay quiet and they stopped talking and i'm not talking again i sent personal messages to some of them i'm not going to call their names and i want them i say if you dare me i will take it personal on you if you want us to talk come and let's talk on tv and get it happen that was the spirit of moment of truth and a moment of truth will be resurrected any day soon when the need arise and we had exclusive discussion the president started with us with exclusive discussion like never before he gave interview through exclusive discussion the president came on air and challenged Coopers and told them, okay, all the accusations you have against me, put it on writing. I'm ready to go to jail if I'm guilty. <laughs> and they escalated and changed their argument and started saying something totally different. In fact, they said something else. They said something totally, completely, entirely different. That was disgraceful. And then you want to ask yourself, but what were these guys saying? What were these guys saying? If they had any evidence as per what they were saying at the time they were saying it, they would have been to court. The way these guys hated the president, if they were speaking the truth, the president, as I speak to you right now, would have been in jail. So the fact that they didn't take any proactive measures to do things rightly was a clear proof they all lying and they were lying so badly. So those, those, that is what I have never, I've always been working on this TV from inception, contrary to what Anu wanted you to know. He was a secretary of state for communication but he was not the starter of the TV. That's falsehood. That's what he has told you. Tell him I'm saying it's not true. When the president and the cabinet voted that ABC Amber TV should come to existence, I was among those at the home front that was supposed to start it. Dr. Luis Fonap, that was the chap of the communications department, requested that a studio should be created for me to start ABC Amber TV in Ghana. And I said no, because I knew that I was being haunted and it was not a smart idea at the time. And I also had other projects I didn't want it to fail. I suggested to the communications department at the time that Pastor D in the UK should begin it. And we're going to work together. I got some other technicians in the home front, my friends in the home front that are working on TV to help Pastor D to make sure that he could start the TV. He failed in that responsibility and got disgruntled when it was taken back from him into Washington. And Dexter Brain came in. Dexter Brain was so busy and couldn't take the task. 
it was after those bottlenecks and many other tries and others coming in and we were facing a lot of challenges to consistency in production and i was about making a move that mr we, we mr chris Anu now took the console into his home and then started learning how to use viewmix and how to get the production doing so he did not start he did a good job i appreciate it but he did a good job more for himself not for the people not for ambazonia he did a good job more to make him to make himself the anchor man. In fact, he reduced the entire TV and communications department into an anchor man show. That was what the communications department was. When Milton Tucker was Secretary of State for, for the communications department, the SCBC was functioning separately. You had units under the communications department that he would consult. All Mr. Anu knew as communication was to prepare to have to talk to Dennis Atemkeng and those he's getting have to bake messages, cropped messages to put what he calls a monologue. To Mr. Anu, what he wanted to do, what he needed to do was a monologue. When he's got his monologue and he's got a time to come on air, to him, communications and the TV was good to go. We have demystified that misconception of what an anchor man should be. Now we have many anchors on ABC Amber TV presenting to the peoples of the world and to the peoples of Amazonia and the same wavelength and, this, and our programs and many other people. We could not enhance many other productions, even the news started and failed a couple of times on the arm with Cynthia Williams. He just got up one day, even after the board said no, and just shut it up and stopped it with the pretext that there's no money. But you are not the giver of the money. Why do you stop it? So this, I have never wanted to come on TV. This was what provoked me to come on TV because our people are dying. I said it during the manual draft. A lot of us are watching this as a movie. Some of us have not had family members being wasted. I've lost three in this war. Now, is that the reason? No. I became a part of this movement from the day prior to that time. I believe that the two could still be together. I, I became a part of this movement the day I saw our sisters, my sisters, my friend, I have a friend's younger sister. She was raped in her hostel in Boya. Some were put in the mud, beaten. I saw lawyers beaten on that day. I believe what a pastor told me in 2014. I was driving towards the northern part of the Cameroons. And the pastor said, this country will divide. And the pastor told me, I'm not going to call the pastor's name. I'm not going to even use a definite article so that you don't know if it is a he or a she. So that witchcraft practitioners at the home front do not go after this pastor's life to kill the pastor. This pastor told me, do you know why they call the road Enugu Highway from Bamenda into Nigeria? Because these two countries, that's one indication that these two countries are not one and they will divide. I can tell you today, I believed this pastor in 2017 and 2019. That was the first time I believed. Three years after this pastor told me that countries would divide. And this pastor was categorical. The pastor told me the country would divide. I made up my mind in 2017 when Mr. Bia was taking a selfie with a female Cameroon female team during the same period when our own sisters were raped and killed and beaten and robbed in mud in Boya. I made up my mind, I will not only be an onlooker, I will be a part of the movement. And from the home front, I did what I could. I worked with all the governments that you know, all the frontline leaders you know. I used all the pseudonyms you knew. People like Lady Casey knew me in person. I worked from outside the interim government and from inside, I never wanted to come on air. But I thought that for the sake of my people, I would do something. And I'm spearheading this project to make sure 
that Ambazonia's own story is told in every country in the world. I believe that Ambazonia deserves the place. Ambazonia has got the talent. We grew up and we were told that we cannot sing music, that the best music is Bikusi or Makosa. We are defiling that today. We were told that we are a second class. We are defiling that today. We are told that we have to watch people talk to us on what they are cutting our parents' salaries to pay as a national TV. Talk to us mostly in French. We are defiling that today. ABC Amber TV is your program. You will have to take it into every man's world. Thank you very much. I want to get back to Nijo so that he rounds up with what he has to say and then we'll get the others. I want to believe Pastor Commando is connected. Please let us try to have him connected in the in the studio two, not studio one, because from studio one, we may not be able to have him streamed. Please let's try to connect Pastor Commando in studio two and not studio one so that we can have him. Um, we can have we can have to get him on. If Nijo is still there, please uh, just give to us your last words before you go back into the Zoom and then we'll get Pastor Commando and we will get um, the others connected. Please, let's try to connect Pastor Commando. I've sent you a code. Try to connect in Studio 2, not Studio 1, so that we can have you stream. Please, I've sent you a code. That's the code for Studio 2, please. Thank you. Is, if Nijo is still there, can you bring him up to give us his last words? We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for bringing me back. I think we, the program is about to start. I just want to see what is happening. If uh, resource mobilization is ready to, uh, okay, Nijo just said he's locked out and um, I would like him to talk. If the Secretary of State for, for National Treasury is available, let him get so that we can have her talk. If the chairman of the board is also available. Please, we want you connected. I've just sent to you a login detail. 
can you confirm to me that uh jemo's to mentor is locked into the system if he's connected just let the uncle ladies let me know about that so that we can we can have him talk to us i want resource mobilization to indicate to me when they were men's and we will start right away. please uh, need you just type if you're locked out of the system um perhaps you just need to lock out and log in again and you'll be connected and everyone will be able to see you as soon as resource mobilization indicates to us that we are ready to start or we're ready to hand over the microphone to them we will stop right immediately yes um can i have an indication to know i want to know if the chairman of the board is connected and if the chairman is listening to me from the zoom can he just follow the link uh, and what we've given to connect so that he can talk to the to the people of Amazonia before we start Yes, Pastor Commando, I know you're listening to me. Lock out from Studio 1 and lock in into Studio 2 so that we can use the code that has been given to you so that we can have you. Okay, the chairman of the board is requesting that the program should start. Now, I don't know if the program is quit by him. Okay. Yeah, um... Okay, I'm going to indicate, I'm talking to the technicians. I hope you're also listening to me. I'll indicate when you're going to play that app. You play, you will play it in the middle of the draft so that we will show it to patrons and stakeholders what they would benefit if they become patrons to us in that order. So I will indicate when that will be played. I also would like to have the... I want I want the queue of okay Nijo is back Nijo please you're going to talk to us very briefly the chairman wants us to start yes Nijo is back please just talk to us very briefly in the course of the program we will have if we have the opportunity again we will have other hosts of programs talk to us what their program is all about and what we should expect please endeavor to connect with the commander thank you very much Ah, there you are. Sorry. Then can you hear me, Comrade Padi? Yes, I can you bet as always you cannot be on YouTube at the same time. Right. One moment. Okay. I can hear you, but you have to get out of the Right. Can we start this program? 3.30, well, I'm not sure. And Amber, Amber is doing what? Okay. Okay, let's go. Go ahead. Right. Um, I'm not sure. I think I hear you on the Zoom now. The chairman wants the program to start, so we have to start. Okay, all right. So we uh, I can close the iMix. Well. Yes, thank you. You you can now close on the on the VMix. I I've been waiting for the chairman on the board. You can close from VMix. Yeah, Let's start. Yeah. Uh, I'll get to Amazonians during this program. So uh, on on Zoom. Right. So um, here we are. It's coming up to on, I don't know about twenty. 10 p.m. So the chairman Amos is in and uh, his board of maybe 
see uh, they can take over uh, from Kumbepadi. And did you say you wanted to present some, uh, uh, to, to run a slide or is it some uh, video to show benefits of um, patrons? Did I get that right? Okay. Yes, um, that, that, yes, I'm, I'm going to do that, but that would depend on the, on the program of the TV. That would depend on your program, on the program for the draft. When you want us to have that slot, this was a pre-draft show we're doing in, in waiting for people to lock in. So as soon as you are, you are ready, just queue us in and we will have that streamed. And play something, um, and I want to see the uncle ladies on the screen, chance. please. We the people, ABC Amber TV draft this Saturday, July 30th, 2022 at 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa with untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV draft this Saturday, July 30th, 2022. 
8 p.m. Amba time. Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless. The voice of Ambazonia. Connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories. Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best.
you listening to Mickey Rose Reads Right to Me on the Sunday Morning Podcast Network. Please stay here with me as I read my first story of the day, Mickey Rose Reads to Me. Mickey Rose Reads to Me by Mickey Rose Reads Right to Me. Read by Mickey Rose Reads to Me. Mickey Rose Reads to Me by Mickey Rose Reads Right to Me. The first story of the day.
came, for Ted we say, he not to walk away, we never put on some two, from, especially from our pockets. And so we ask him, any man we don't come for here, we get a desire to get back home. May they go put their hands for their pocket. Papa, many times we don't go to church and for many places to pray. I say, oh God, Meanwhile, you want something good one. So we did talk, say plenty of the people the way they did here, they think they for their pocket. We know they want to talk to me to throw away and from heaven. Because don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Touch our hearts, oh God, that we will see the sacrifice where our people they will do. The one where we will not escape, we will be out here. We will bring, bring out, out from out, the bottom, bottom of our, our pocket, pocket and then we will give so that so this story house is going to be on the air, air talking 24-7 for our people, our people to get the knowledge, knowledge and in order to escape the, the spider web where it's not put and place in our public. This one will not be done by our strength. If you, if you bring all the money from all the banks, the money no will work. With the pressure, you go put people there for a year. Where they go utilize this money in a judicious way. Nobody chief people the way they go chief. Then come back every now and then come make an alarm where they don't chief up. Nobody chief people where they know can give an account for the money where they don't give. But say, Papa, all we will be very, very transparent because we know that the little way we we'll put, I will be sincere, honest, and transparent. You did take them, make them a big deal. I will feel use them for defeat the republic. Through our communication, you don't see, we don't put La Republic on her knees. Thank you very much. Bless the people the way they don't come for here. We still expect our brothers and sisters, where they still there outside, for joining we, so that we go raise money, put this thing on the air, till we enter Boya. They will start off with the one we did for Boya. Thank you because we hear say, we will not say don't hear we, I will not say don't answer. This one will be our prayer for Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And right now, Amen. we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and, observe and observe a moment of silence, moment of silence for the, for the Amen. great sacrifices, Amen. sacrifices where they don't be done, especially at home. Especially at home. Especially at home. A moment of silence, please. Moment of silence, please. Silence, please. Silence, please. Silence, please. Silence, please. And may the people the way people the way people the way they don't go ahead don't go ahead as a result of this fight. Papa, Papa, with the assay, with the assay, make their souls go rest in power. And that we will with them for back way with the still go. We will hear their cry, we hear their blood, hear their blood, and they will put our effort to do which way once we do as we begin for draft now. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There was an echo. What is going on? Yeah, the echo is still yeah, there. The Chairman, over to you. Thank you so much, Pastor. Um, Secretary Rache, can you come in with the mic? Yeah, okay. okay. With that, and thank, thank you. Greetings to the house. Please, let's be in a patriotic spirit. If you are willing, you can stand. If not, you sit on your place and let the right hand be. I can't see you. Let the right, let your right hand be on your left breast. Mm -hmm. Hail, hail, hail this land of glory. We the Amazonians with flesh and loyalty. Praise this born our Savior who granted us our freedom. Allegiance to the heroes who bore the land with your blood. Glory to who glory we rise and never to fall. Here in our nation, flowing with milk and honey. Glory, glory, glory to 
to the Father for making you a nation of joy forevermore. Amazonia, land of freedom, you shall live in plenty, meaning our need. And your children shall be like the stars above. The most high God be the watchman of this nation. Amazonia, land of freedom. You shall live in plenty, meaning our need. And your children shall be like the stars above. The most high God be the watchman of this nation. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Thank you so much, Secretary Rachel. Yeah, um, I will start by acknowledging the present of uh, the President of the Federal Republic of uh, Amazonia, um, Samuel Ekomestako, uh, the Speaker of uh, the Interim House, um, my. Uh, They have their members in the board or their representatives in the board and that they are doing everything possible to bring funds uh from the grassroots and this uh also i will thank the directorates um also for the great job the uh, the news decks also as uh, we are seeing the wonderful job that they are doing there and also there are many programs we have um, the horizon that is, uh, is becoming and uh, something historic a stable program that has been for years um so i would like to thank all of them for this uh, wonderful job we are here today to appreciate ourselves and also for the wonderful job and also to contribute with ideas and finance also to move our cooperation to the next level and uh, we are so proud and i will to work for this cooperation we have a wonderful team working from behind Nobody sees them at the forefront or on the on air, but there's a wonderful uh, compatriots that they are working from behind to make this our television at the level that it is. We will not end here with all the contributions. We are looking forward to put our ABC Amber TV in our television smart, our smart television, so that we can watch ABC Amber television everywhere in the world and also free. So I want to thank everyone uh, for being here. And uh, I will take this opportunity also to introduce uh, our 
director of ABC, uh, my Emma Endeli. Um, I think Paddy have something from her. So um, she's uh, somewhere, but she prepared something to present uh, uh, to the population today. So, uh, Paddy. Um, good, good evening, Chairman. Is it time for uh, Madam Endeless? statement yeah okay um, mr president good evening fellow amazonians ladies and gentlemen all protocols respected uh my NDLA is actually traveling as we speak but she because of the importance of this program she had her statement pre-recorded and we will have the studio streaming right now thank you very much Um, we want to have Madam Endele um, recorded, please. Can I have it on now? Thank you. Put on the camera of the studio and let's have Madam Endele's address now, please. Madam Endele. If you're listening to me, can you put on the camera so I can spotlight the TV? Thank you. Put on the camera of the TV now. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber no Time, sound. Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. No sound. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. At 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voice of the voice of the voice of Africa's best. Connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. We the people, ABC Amber TV, draft. This Saturday, July 30th, 2022. We the people, at 8 p.m. Amber time, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation, 2022. The voice of the voice of Africa's best, connecting the world from Africa. The voice of the 
voice with the tall stories. Africa's best. Connecting the world from Africa. With the people, ABC on the TV. Drive. This Saturday at live with the Ultra Journey feature. Not the people. Nigeria on the Prime. Watching the final of the Fasting Drop Mission. Ten and two. Thank you, Chairman Amos, the board chair of ABC Amber TV. Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, Speaker of our restored Jua House of Assembly, our dedicated and loyal restoration forces, friends and relatives of Donia. Thank you, Chairman Amos, the board chair of ABC Amber TV. Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, Speaker of our restored Jua House of Assembly, our dedicated and loyal restoration forces, friends and relatives of Adonia, ladies and gentlemen, I salute you. I welcome you to this occasion where ABC Amber TV is reaching out to you, the people and owners of this state television. This reach out, which I will simply call ABC Amber TV Octave. Ladies and gentlemen, most of you have followed us and watched us go through the ringer with the former SOS of communication. We saw the tortuous history of this television. We saw the slow killing and stifling of the people's TV. The last six months has seen us rise from the ashes like a phoenix. President Sacco has kept us close to his heart. 
this IG has carried us in our struggle to survive. As we soar to new heights, we are in a new dawn. We cannot get to new heights without funding. You have seen a bit of what we can do. We promise you even more. We are going to take our story, our history, to the ends of the world. That is a promise to you, our people. We, the people, are going to provide wings and release ABC TV to soar. Join us, my people. In this partnership and support us with anything you have, not too small. We promise to tell our story without fear or favor, undaunted. We will not be stifled again. We will not be oppressed. We will expose expose oppression we will expose expose the genocide of our people we will not stop showing the world our babies being fried in hot oil our babies being murdered on the way to school draft for abc amber tv because that is our mission expose expose undauntedly we will not be silenced come and draft for undaunted news and all the programs that tell our history our story to the world Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to this occasion, and God bless you as you donate. Viva ABC Amber TV, Viva Ambazonia. Aluta continua. Thank you. We the people, ABC Amber TV draft this Saturday, July 30th, 2022.